Hello everyone. My name is Kunal and uh, I am your mathematics tutor and uh, we are actually doing application of integral and today is our lecture number two. So uh, let me quickly recap the thing. So we first lecture uh, like uh, estimation of uh, definite integral. इसमें हमने पाया था कि सारे इंटीग्रल्स को समटाइम्स गिवन इंटीग्रेंट को इंटीग्रेट नहीं कर पाते हैं एंड सो वी यूज द थिंग्स लाइक टू एस्टीमेट इट्स वैल्यू एंड जहां पे हमने तीन केसेस देखी थी पहला अगर गिवन इंटीग्रेंट मोनोटोनिक इंक्रीजिंग फंक्शन हो और मोनोटोनिक डिक्रीजिंग फंक्शन हो राइट और इफ अगर ये नहीं दी हुई है तो थर्ड केस ऐसा था कि अगर उसकी मैथ्स और मीन वैल्यू दे रखी है सो वी कैन इजिली कैलकुलेटेड एस्टिमेशन राइट सो नाउ इन टूडे लेक्चर बट हमने ये सारे थियरी पार्ट देख रखे थे बट वी बट इन टूडेज क्लास लर्न इट्स इम्प्लीमेंटेशन लाइक हाउ टू इम्प्लीमेंट द थियोरी ऑफ द प्रीवियस क्लास इन टूडेज क्लास ओके सो लेट एस स्टार्ट आवर today's lecture with uh, some fresh example which is something look like uh, let me took the example number 1 here so our uh, problem look like we have to prove so that uh, like uh, 1 by 4 less than is equal to we have to integrate from 0 to 1 uh, dx divided by 1 plus x square plus 2x to the power 5 and this value is actually less than is equal to 1 okay so we have to prove it so uh, we all uh, know the things first thing what i have to do this, this is my given fx right so let me prove it so the approach is basically uh, this is our fx so first thing we have to find like our function is monotonic increasing or decreasing right so this is the first thing that we have to calculate so let me try to find it out and we all know that and you all uh, learn this thing in the application of derivative chapter like how to find the uh, monotonic function the range of monotonic function increasing or decreasing function you all know that right and even i discussed in previously class like how to find it so let me write it here what is our fx so our fx is nothing but 1 by 1 plus x square plus 2x to the power 5 right so uh now uh, first we are talking about the uh, actually range of the value of x so our x varies from 0 to 1 right so now try to find out the f dash x like differentiation of x so what we get 1 plus x square plus 2x to the power 5 i hope you all understand this what i'm trying to say there will be zero because differentiation of one is zero and then we write a differentiation of this term so what it will be it it will be something like 2x plus 10x to the power right and uh, okay so now now we have to find like uh, this is our minus 2x minus 10x to the power 4 One plus x square plus two x to the power. Five. Now, from this expression, uh, our x va x varies from zero to one. So you can state like if we put the value of uh, x is equal to zero here, so we get the value zero. But we put the value x is equal to one, so what we get? We get something negative value, right? So it's clear to the above expression, like our f of x is. we all know that if f dash of x is less than 0 in our given x uh, x value range so if x belong to a 0 to 1 so in this range our f dash x is negative it's clearly uh, visible right so our fx is a decreasing function right and it will be strictly decreasing function for all x belongs to 0 to 1 so one thing we get our function is strictly decreasing Right or monotonic decreasing, whatever, but it is decreasing. 
So what is our next step? We have to uh, use the formula of uh, monotonic decreasing one. So let's apply here. So what is the formula? Uh, first, let me write it here. So to recap you, if I'm integrating from fx dx <coughs> from a to b, so it will be something like uh, b minus a and f of b. This 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 is applied when uh, fx is decreasing function, right? We already discussed in previous class. So okay, then there will be like b minus a, and uh, there will be f of a, right? The minimum value, but the f of a is maximum, right? Okay, so. <clears throat> Here, uh, the A value is uh, actually 0 and uh, B value is actually 1. Okay. So, let me write it here. So, we are integrating 0 to 1. And what is our f of x? Let me write it here again. So, our f of x will be like dx by 1 plus x square plus 2x to the power 5. And its value varies from B minus A will be 1. And f of a, like f of 0 when we substitute. And there will be like b minus a is 1. And when we substitute, f, 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 f is equal to 1. x is equal to 1, sorry. So when we substitute the value x is equal to 1, what we get? We get 1 plus 1 plus 2. And 0 to 1 dx by 1 plus x square plus 2x to the power 5. And when we substitute 0, what we get? 1 by 1 plus 0 plus 0. So finally, we prove that our uh, when we integrating the function 1 by x, 1 plus x square plus 2x to the power 5, in range of 0 to 1, its values varies from 1 by 4 to 1. This thing we have to prove. So you don't have to remember this proof. You have to learn what is my approach is. So what's my approach is? I am first starting the function fx and then I try to find our function is monotonic increasing or decreasing. I get like uh, our function is decreasing function. Then what I apply? I just apply the formula of decreasing function. The estimation formula for decreasing function. This is, let me write it here. This is estimation formula for uh, decreasing function, right? So this thing we will get and uh, when we follow through the formula, we get to the final proof, right? I, I hope you'll all understand this. So let me move on to the, these are actually level zero problem, right? I, I just uh, tell you like how to approach. Is me kuch rocket science nita, is was basic ega nita. Function diya hua hai, usse pata kar liya, wo monotonic increase ho rhi hai, decrease ho rhi hai. Wo pata karne baad, sitha formula laga diya. Okay, so now let's move on to the uh, next problem, which is actually based on level 1. So let me try to. So you have to prove, like, uh, let me write it here. You have to prove, like, uh, our integrand, integration from 0 to 1. And our function something look like uh, okay, our function something look like dx by the root under 4 minus x square minus x cube. Okay, let me write it in a clear way. <coughs> okay. So our function something look like we are integrating from 0 to 1 dx by root under 4 minus x square minus x cube and this value is actually varies from pi actually not there equal to uh, pi root 2 by 8 and it is pi by 6 so you have to prove this so how you approach so look at here now, the thing is, uh, sometimes to find like the given function is uh, monotonic increasing or decreasing is uh, slightly tough. Like if you differentiate this function, this is actually 
तुम्हें बार बार वो लगाना होगा ना चेन रूल लगानी होगी ओके सो इट्स बिकम हेक्टिक कैलकुलेशन सो वट वी डू वी एक्चुअली डू समथिंग लाइक लेट मी शो यू फर्स्ट द थिंग्स वी हैव टू नोटेड लाइक आवर एक्स एक्चुअली वैरिज फ्रॉम ऑल एक्स एक्चुअली वैरिज फ्रॉम जीरो टू वन राइट सो फर्स्ट थिंग वी गेट दियर now uh, this is our function right so uh, like our fx is uh, 1 by root under 4 minus x square minus x cube okay so 4 minus that x cube term okay so can we write this function as uh, like root under 4 minus x square minus x cube is uh, less than Or equal to root under four minus x square. We remove this term. Actually, ये term तो इसे छोड़ा ही कर रहा था ना. So this term will be greater than like uh, let me tell you what I'm trying to say. Look at this four minus x square. Uh, is equal to four minus x square, right? And if we uh, subtract uh, something positive where x is varies from zero to one. So this term x cube is also positive. So if I subtract an x cube term from that, so this term is greater than a greater than or equal to for x is equal to zero. For x is equal to zero again, this this both term are same. So just I am trying to do that. I hope we'll all connect to this. Okay. Four minus x square is equal to four minus x square. No, no harm. And when I subtract an x cube term from there, from uh, left hand side, and x is a positive, so x cube is also positive. So four minus x square is greater than na equal to four minus x square minus x cube. I hope you all understand this. What I'm trying to say. Okay, it's it it it's an easy manipulation, right? So this thing we get from you now. Now one more thing. Ah, uh, I have to do some second manipulation here. so let me do okay now uh this term is also greater than is equal to root under 4 minus 2x square okay so let me write it here what i'm trying to say is 4 minus x square is equal to 4 minus x square no harm in that now if i subtract x square on left hand side Right, x square on left hand side, and uh, so uh, in varying from zero to one, it will be greater than this. So we can write like four minus two x square is also less than or equal to four minus x square minus x cube because in x uh, in x varying from zero to one, our x square is less than a uh, wait a minute is greater than x cube. let me let me tell you what i am using here so you can understand in x belonging to 0 to 1 our x square is greater than is equal to x cube this is the thing that we used here let me write it here in a clear way like our x greater than x square greater than x cube In x belonging to zero to one, parallel. When x greater than is equal to one, it is like x square x x cube. It this thing follow. So what I'm using here, our x belonging to zero to one. So what I'm uh, using here is four uh, minus x square equal to four minus x square, and it will be minus x square. So what I'm writing here is like we can write this here. Huh? Now what I'm doing here, I am just subtracting x cube from there and x square from there. Now we know that from here, like x square is greater than x cube, so this value is less than this value, even this value, and this value is already we proved like this value is less than equal to this value, right? So what we get from here, if four minus two x square root is less than equal to four minus x square minus x cube, ah. Uh, Less than equal to four root under four minus x square. Simple manipulation we do here. We just 
मैनिपुलेट यर अगर समझ में नहीं आई है हम अगेन मैं फिर से समझाऊंगा फर्स्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इन क्लियर वे ओके कि वट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से ओके सो लेट मी रेज इट ओके सो वट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से सो वी वी गेट दिस रिलेशन नाउ वी वी ऑल नो दैट लाइक इफ ए एक्स बी सो इट वी लाइक वन बाई एक्स लेस देन इक्वल टू ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू वन बाई एन लेस देन इक्वल टू वन बाई ए दिस इज दी आर एक्चुअली यूजिंग अ सिंपल प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ इन इक्वालिटी ठीक है यू ऑल गो थ्रू इट इन अ वेरी वेल मैनर आई होप दैट राइट सो वी आर यूजिंग द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ इन इक्वालिटी सो वट आई गेट फ्रॉम यर इफ इफ बिकॉज आवर कॉन्सर्न इज वन बाई रूट अंडर फोर एक्स माइनस फोर माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स क्यू सो आई जस्ट ट्राई टू यूज इट हेयर वन बाई रूट अंडर फोर माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स क्यू राइट सो इट विल बी लाइक ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू वन बाई दिस टर्म विल बिकम हेयर रूट अंडर फोर माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर जस्ट आई फॉलो दिस property of inequality because x varies from a to b so 1 by x varies from 1 by b to 1 by a and uh, will be greater than equal to 1 by root under 4 minus 2x square okay now what you have to do just integrate this because we have to find integration from 0 to 1 so dx 4 minus x square minus x cube integration from 0 to 1 we are integrating dx 4 minus 2x square or dx 4 minus x square okay now we all know that uh, this integration is of form like root under a square minus x square and we know that integration of this is sin inverse of x by a so look at this we are not using the concept of one chapter we are using the concept of uh multiple chapter like uh, concern he use kar rahe for some basic inequality ki property use kar rahe so you have to like uh, go through the each and every single concept like how to approach and to prove this okay so <clears throat> we know that the integration of, now now it's time to integrate it so we all know the integration of Uh, root under a square minus x square is sine inverse of x by a. So let me do it here. Here, so it will be like sine inverse of x by a, and we are integrating from zero to one, right? But here a is two, so we write it here two. Greater than equal to we are integrating from zero to one. Dx by root under four minus x square minus x cube. And we are integrating this term. So what we get? We get one by a sine inverse of x by a naught. Like there will be get. First take the two common because we have to make x square coefficient is equal to one. So it will be like one by root two. And we will get sine inverse of x by a root two. And we have to integrate it from zero to one. Now. Now, uh, when we substitute the value of uh, upper limit and lower limit, so what we get? So sine inverse one by two will be pi by six, and zero will be zero. We are integrating from zero to one dx root under four minus x square minus x cube. There will be one by root two. Try to substitute the value of uh, one here. So what we get? Sine inverse of one by root two and sine inverse of one by root two is pi by four. So we'll get pi by four. So when we do some manipulation here, I mean, take the reciprocal. So what we get? We will get this thing. Pi root two by eight. Just multiply and divide by root two. So this is our proof. Okay, I hope we'll all understand this. मैंने क्या-क्या चीजें करी हैं। तो जो यहाँ पे crucial step था, वो ये step था। First I identify the function, 
कि मेरे पास फंक्शन क्या है एंड आई गॉट दैल्यू ऑफ एक्स आवर एक्स वैल्यूज फ्रॉम जीरो टू वन ओके नाउ वी हैव टू राइट अ फंक्शन विच इज जस्ट ग्रेटर देन दिस एंड अ फंक्शन विच इज जस्ट लेस देन दिस फंक्शन सो वट आई मैम अप्रोचिंग एर इज कि वी कैन राइट ओ माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स क्यू सो दिस फंक्शन इज लेस देन इज इक्वल टू फोर माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर and uh, this function uh, and we know that when x varying from 0 to 1 so there is a trend which is followed by the x to the power n which is like x square is x is greater than x square is greater than x cube so x square is if we subtract it from here like 4 minus x square minus x square so this term is less value than this because we are subtracting right so i hope you will all understand this so this is the approach to uh, this this is an, another approach to solve this problem and we get through the final problem <clears throat> okay so i hope you will all understand this so this is a general property of inequality okay so now uh, there is a problem so let me write it so there is a multiple choice problem which actually exam mein aise problem aati hai so let me take that example number 3 what is it uh let me take here it is something look like uh, you have to tell which of the following inequality is a true and it is actually multiple choice answer so let me write it here <clears throat> this is a multiple correct question you have to tell a uh, which of the following inequality which of the uh, following inequality is are true and this is your option a which is a uh, we are integrating from 0 to 1 and uh, x cos x dx and this value is greater than equal to 3 by 8 b <coughs> we are integrating from 0 to 1 x sin x Or dx. This value is greater than equal to three by ten. C zero to one x square cos x dx greater than is equal to one by two, and d will be. We are integrating from zero to one, and x square sin x dx, and this value is greater than equal to. Two by nine. Okay. So you have to solve this. Like, uh, so my suggestion is to pause the video and try to solve it by own, and then try to match the solution. Okay. So let me solve it. So its solution will be first thing you have to learn Taylor expansion or Taylor series. We can say. So, <clears throat> yeah, as I was there. So let me write it here, Taylor series or expansion. So आप लोग को पता होगा कि Taylor expansion of the cos x. सबसे पहले मैं यहाँ पे Taylor expansion लिख देता हूँ. So let me write it here. I have to, you have to actually learn this whole formula. बाकी उससे आ जाती हैं. Okay, so let me write it in a straight way. So our first is e to the power x. Second is e to the power minus x, and the third is sine x, and the fourth one is cos x. So we are gonna uh, write. I think you already learned this thing uh, in 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 your derivative chapter or in limit chapter, right? But uh, let me recall you once the Taylor expansion of e to the power x. Or, बाकी सारे इसी से prove हो जाती हैं. 
लाइक बाकी जो है ना बाकी इसी का डेरिवेशन है सो लेट मी राइट इट योर ओके सो ई टू दावर एक्स विल बी इट इज समिंग लुक लाइक वन प्लस टू फैक्टोरियल plus x cube by 3 factorial dot 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 x to the power n by n factorial okay <clears throat> now next on e to the power minus x will be like put the uh, minus x in place of x right what you have to do you have to just put the minus x in place of x so when we when, when you do that what you get we get 1 minus x by 1 factorial and when we put the x here so it will be remain same because it is the even power so the minus x square is also x square so it will be x square to the 2 factorial minus x cube by 3 factorial dot 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 now for the sin x uh, what we follow the trend is like uh, the sin 0 will uh, will be 0 right so we start from this term and we are increasing the Two power like uh, uh, x, so x cube and uh, with the plus minus sign, right? I I I hope you'll all understand this. What I'm trying to say. So the sign x one will be as out there. So x by one factorial minus x cube by three factorial plus x to the power five by five factorial minus x to the power seven by seven factorial. Now for cos zero is like one, so we're starting from one. So one, and again there's the two powers, so it will be like x square by. Let me do it here with the plus minus sign. Okay. So it will be something look like one minus x square by two factorial plus x cube by three fact. We have to raise two power. Like x four by four factorial. Then minus x six by six factor, right? So this thing we have to do. So we are gonna use uh, the same thing to solve this problem. Okay. So let me take that. So <clears throat> let us go through uh, the first option, right? You have to actually. चेक इट बाई ईच एंड एवरी सिंगल ऑप्शन हर एक ऑप्शन को तुम्हें सॉल्व कर करके देखना होगा ओके एंड एक्चुअली इट इज वेरी एडवांस क्वेश्चन सो लेट मी राइट इट इयर द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन सो वी आर चेकिंग ऑप्शन ए सो वट इज अवर ऑप्शन ए अवर ऑप्शन ए समथिंग वी आर इंटीग्रेटिंग फ्रॉम जीरो टू वन And our concern is x cos x dx. Okay, so we just uh, go through the expansion or Taylor expansion formula of cos x. So how we can write at x cos x as we can write it into this form like x into one minus x square by two factorial plus x to the power four by four factorial. Right. you can write it into this way i hope this this, this thing are clear to you right so we can write it in this form up to infinite now the thing says if i integrating it from 0 to 1 or uh, x cos x we can say that this value is greater than when we integrate like see we are integrating the whole term and we are just integrating the two term like x One minus x square by two. Are you understanding what I'm trying to say? एक तो तुमने पूरे टर्म को ऐड कर रहे हो till infinite. So uh, this term will be less than equal to we 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 are just taking the two term. This uh, series is going up to the infinity, but we are just taking the two term. So two term तो पूरे infinite term वाले से तो छोटे ही होगे ना? Right. So We uh, so we are just uh, taking the two term, and what we have to prove? We have to prove the uh, lower lower estimation. We have to find the lower estimation. 
So I just take the two term, which is uh, far less than infinite term. So we can uh, try to uh, get the lower estimation of this definite integral, which is integrating from 0 to 1 and the function is x cos x. So let's try to integrate this. So our 0 to 1 x cos x uh, dx will be greater than is equal to uh, integration of x minus x cube by 2 dx. Let's integrate this. So what we get? Uh, we get x square by 2 and uh, then we get minus x4 by 8 from 0 to 1. So when we solve that, what we get? 1 by 2 minus 1 by 8. This is equal to 3 by 8. So what we get from here, our lower estimation is we are integrating. When we are integrating from 0 to 1, our function is x cos x dx. So this value is greater than is equal to 3 by 8. Is it? Okay, so this is my one of the correct option, right? Now, uh, let's move on to the second estimation, which is saying when we integrate the function x sin x from 0 to 1, so its value will be greater than or equal to 3 by 10. Okay, so let's, uh, we are checking actually B, option B. So our like we are integrating x sin x. Okay, so we can write x sin x as x. And what is the sin x? Like uh, x by 1 factorial minus x cube by 3 factorial plus x 5 by 5 factorial, right? Till infinity. So we can take just the two term. So I'm just trying to say here with 0 to 1 when we integrate uh, our function. <clears throat> so it is like, uh, are you understand now what I'm trying to say? Okay. So it is actually greater than is equal to when we integrate the just two term like x minus and the three factorial value is nothing but 6. So we can write this as uh, x square dx minus x4 by 60. So when we integrate this, what are we getting? Uh, x, uh, we are integrating it from 0 to 1. So we will get it x cube by 3 minus x5 by 30. And this will go from 0 to 1. So what we will get? 1 by 3 minus 1 by 30. Right. What we are getting? 1 by 3 minus 1 by 30. So when we solve this, what we get? There will be 9 by 30. So it's like 3 by 10. So from here we get, when we integrate this function from 0 to 1, x sin x, our lower estimation value is something 3 by, greater than or equal to 3 by 10. So yes, it is 3 by 10. So this option is also correct. Right. Let's move on to the uh, to the check the option number C. This time x square. Okay, no problem. So let's check uh, option checking option C. And what is it? We are integrating from 0 to 1 x square cos x. Okay, so we all know that we can write uh, x square cos x as x square 1 minus x square by 2 factorial up to infinity. But we have to just take the two term for uh, lower estimation. So when we integrate it from 0 to 1, x square cos x dx, it will be equal to uh, x square minus x4 by 2. We are integrating from 0 to 1. And when we integrate this, what we uh, what we will get? We will get uh, x cube by 3 minus x5 by 10 from 0 to 1. So what we get? 1 by 3 minus 1 by 10. So we will get, uh, when, when we solve this, what we get? 7 by 30. Right? I hope you will all understand what I am trying to say here. What will we get? 7 by 30. So, <clears throat> Let me check it 
and uh, try to find it out. Will it be correct or wrong? So there is like one by two written. So this option is like, look at there, G, uh, seven by 30, if you uh, take it as approximation, so it is something close to 0 0.1. Right, like if you do certain approximation, so the value of 7 by 30 is uh, quite uh, near to the point uh, or two point one nine or one one nine or something. Let me check it by calculator. Okay, so, it, so its value is something around uh, 0 0.23. Okay, and uh, it is saying like our value is greater than or equal to uh, 1 by 2, but this is wrong because our value is also greater than 0 0.23 or it has 0 0.57 over here. So, this is wrong. Okay, so now let's move on to the checking option D. So, checking option D. We are just estimating the things, right? So these are the things that you are going to learn in application of integral chapter. Uh, the, uh, and the next topic will be like uh, uh, estimation of any function value. Now we are estimating the value of a definite integration. Now, next thing we are estimating the function of a value, the value of a function, right? So we are going to learn uh, probably in the next class. First, uh, in this class, we are our main target is to learn how to implement and uh, the more and more an approach to find out the uh, values of uh, estimate, estimate value of uh, definite integration. Okay, so, okay. So let me check the uh, D option, which is something like X square, we are integrating from zero to one, obviously, X square sine X. So let me write it here. We can write X square sine X is equal to X square, uh, x by 1 factorial minus x cube by 3 factorial up to infinity but, but we have to just take the uh, two terms add just for uh, lower estimation so it will be like dx it will be greater than equal to when we integrating it from 0 to 1 x cube minus x to the power 5 by 6 the 3 factorial is 6 so when we solve that, what we get? X to the power 4 by 4 minus X to the power 6 by 36. We are integrating it from 0 to 1. Like 1 by 4 minus 1 by 36. So this value is something equal to, uh, let me write it here. There will be 36 and there will be uh, 9 minus 4. It will be like 5 by 36, right? We can write it here to like 5 by 36. Yeah, we can like like it like it will be uh, nine and it will be one, right? So it will be like eight by thirty six. It will be like uh, two by nine. So let's check the option D. Is it correct? Oh, it, it is correct. It's correct. So the correct answer is option A C. Right. So, uh, in, in this question, what you have to do, you have to use the uh, Taylor expansion formula. This formula, actually, e to the power x and e to the power minus x in are uh, derived. But its general case, so you have to do like as of that, f of 0 plus f of f dash of 0 by 1 factorial plus f double dash of 0 by 2 factorial and so on. Right. So we are just going to apply this. So many direct formula in the end. So you have to just go through it. Now, this problem may have to be. This problem may have to step by step. That means, sare option ko ek ek karke check karne di. If this is correct or this is correct or this is correct. So we are using the Taylor expansion here. And we use the Taylor expansion. So the thing says in, ta in Taylor expansion, our series limiting up to the infinite term but what i have to take we have to find the lower uh, lower uh, what is what is called lower uh, 
एस्टिमेशन वी हैव टू एक्चुअली हमें लोअर वैल्यू के एस्टिमेट करनी है बिकॉज इफ यू लुक एट दिस ऑप्शन वॉट इज इट आवर इंटीग्रेट वैल्यू इज ग्रेटर देन सम वैल्यू सो द वैल्यू विल लाइक लोअर एस्टिमेशन हमें लोअर एस्टिमेशन करनी है सो वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू डू इज we have just take the two term in taylor expansion and just uh, go through it so we will get to the final answer i hope these thing are clear to you right so let's move on to the next problem it is also the basically this topic the application of integral part is uh, mostly a uh, we learn something area and all but these thing are also important as perspective to the j advanced term right like estimation of uh, definite integrable estimation of any ones are and the area things so we all these thing are learned in the application of integral chapter so let me take the x example of uh, so it is the like level 2 problem okay so let me write it here now uh, the question is this is also the j advanced question Hope you find this question in uh, PYQ. So let me write it here. So the question is: Let f basically differentiation of function with respect to x will be given as one nine two x cube divided by two plus sine to the power four pi x. Right for uh, all x belongs to real number. With there is something given which is f one by two value is zero. Now the question is if uh, small m less than is equal to when we are integrating it from one by two to one. f x or d x, it will be equal to m. Then, then the possible value of small m and capital M are okay. So, uh, you have to find that. Now, let me uh, try to explain you. Uh, this is our actually previous class concept. यहाँ पे use हो रही होगी. The thing is, our ah, I mean, function d was there, and what is our first step? We are first step is to find that the function is monotonic, increasing or decreasing. Right. This this is the thing that we have to find. Is our function monotonic, increasing or decreasing? If 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 our function is monotonic, increasing, then we use the monotonic increasing formula, monotonic increasing estimation formula. If our function is decreasing, so we using the decreasing estimation formula here the differentiation is given so you have to find is this greater than 0 or less than 0 right like if x increases is the f dash x value increases or decreases this you have to find and when you find that you have to just apply the Estimation formula which we will read in the previous class. This is actually J advanced question, right? And you have to find the integration of this. So it's a multi-step question. So let me try to figure it out. So let's solve this. So it's not easy to calculate it with zero and then try to find it out. So we go through the value. Ah, uh, so its solution will be. So we go through the value. So let us take ah uh, x is equal to one. So when we Because ah uh, our values varies from ah uh, like x varies from one by two to one, so we have to take in this one. Look at this. Our we have we are integrating our function from one by two to one. So our x varies from one by two to one. So we ah uh, we are also ah uh, ah uh, look the behavior of function. Is it increasing or decreasing in the uh, range of x varies from one by two to one. So let's take that the value of f one is equal to f dash one is equal to so put it here so you like one by ninety two plus and the sine pi is zero ah uh, actually ah uh, but it will be like ah uh, we have to put here one I hope you all understand this so there will be like two 
and this value is 0. So this value is 96. Now let's try to find out the value of f dash 1 by 2. So what we will get? 192 by 1 by 8 divided by 2 plus, uh, what is the value of sine by 2? It will be 1, right? So 192 by 3 into 8. So when we solve this, we will, we will get the value of 8. So here we got that as x increases, f dash x decreases. Uh, uh, sorry, f dash x also increases. Our x value 1 by 2 say 1 ho gai, and f dash x be 8 say 96. Ho gaya. That means our concern is increasing concern. So we will all know that the, what we will know? We will know that f dash of x dx when we integrate it from 1 by 2 to 1 it will be greater than is equal to b minus a, right? This is a, this is b. So 1 by 2 and uh, f of 1 by 2. f dash of 1 by 2. Right? I hope you all understand this what I am doing here. I am just using the uh, concept of the previous class. And there will be like 1 by 2. Let me raise it here. There will be like 1 by 2. They like f dash of 1. So we will get like 90. Uh, and we have to integrate it from 1 by 2 to 1. 1 by 2 to 1. So what we will get when we integrate this. We will get 8x minus 4. Try to integrate it. Right. I am I'm, I'm not going to use a. Like uh, re repeat the first lecture things. And when we integrate this, what we will get? 96x minus 48. Now, uh, there will be, when we integrate this, what we get? Integration of fx from half to 1. And there will be, uh, which is f of 1 by 2. So it will be 0. So let me take that. Now there will be, uh, we are integrating from half. 196 x minus 48 it will be when we integrating this from 8x minus 4 from half to 1 so when we integrate this uh, so our when you solve this so what you will get you will get something like uh, integration of fx dx from half to 1 is nothing but when we solve this you will get 1 and when we solve this you will get 12 so what we will get m is equal to 1 and capital M is equal to 12. Let me write it in a good way. Okay, so let me write it in a good way. I hope you will all understand this what I am uh, actually what I did here, right? So let me try to under, uh, explain you again and try to connect it with the previous class. So what we will read in the previous class is Whenever an uh, integrand is given, so what is our first step? We have to calculate, like we have to find like is our in, integrand function is monotonic increasing or decreasing, right? So we have to differentiate, we have to use the property like which we will read in application of derivative. But here, we have to have differentiation of a function. Diya hua hai. So we have to just find it out. Is it, is this greater than zero or less than zero? So how to find? Is our x ke badhane se f dash x increase ho raha hai decrease ho raha hai? Agar x ke badhane se f dash x increase ho raha hai, that means f dash x function is increasing function. The differentiation of function is increasing function. So what I am uh, actually doing, first apply for the f dash x and then followed up by we are applying on the f of x. Okay, so uh, these are the concept that you be used here. I, I hope you'll all understand this. So that's all for today's guys. Uh, in next class, we will gonna read uh, our new application, which is basically new application of integral, which is based on uh, basically estimation of any function value, right? Like how to estimate the any function value. So abhi tak jo bhi humne padha, wo kya padha? estimation of definite integral. And this is also the important topic. So, in this class, we have implementation bhi sari sikli, right? Ki how to implement those things. So, in tomorrow's lecture, we are going to learn the estimation of any function value. Okay, and then we will move to the 
area after next okay so that's all for guys today thank you